Hi everyone, it's Michaela. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. So last week, last Sunday, I started a new series called Operation Use It Up because I have so much wax and I keep buying so much wax, but I really need to be using what I have. And I thought it would be fun because I can take you through bits and pieces of the wax, the wax that I have, we go through it together and pick and choose some of the things to map for the week. So if you haven't watched that video yet, pause this and go watch that. Okay, so I'm assuming you watched it. So last week we went through um, this bin of my L3 Waxy Wonders. I originally started with a small basket, but then I had so much that um, I filled, overfilled a plastic container to actually store it in for the week. So first I'm going to show you the things I didn't get through, I'm not gonna go through them. I'm just going to show you what's still left in the container. This container was like overflowing with stuff and so I really do feel like I made a pretty good dent. So like I said, this container was overflowing with stuff and this is all that I have left in it. So I've made a pretty good dent. Um, some of the ones that I have left are just ones that I just wasn't really feeling gravitated towards. Um, I did change my wax a couple times a day and so I really tried to get through a lot of this stuff. I might end up leaving a couple of these out still to kind of work through with my next one, but we'll see. So now for our empties. So the first two things are two candles, which I've actually been working on for a really long time and I just happened to finish them both this week. So the first one is Strawberry Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. Um, I love this scent in both in candle form and wax. It doesn't smell quite as good now. Um, I had pretty clean burn. I do have a little bit of sitting, but not too bad. I didn't have to cotton ball this one at all. This one burned straight through. Would I purchase this again? Probably not. I'm trying not to really buy candles very much anymore. I have little kids. I have cat. I have a dog and I worry about open flame with all of them unless I'm watching it. So I don't tend to burn candles nearly as much. Would I get this in vendor wax? Of course I have. I will continue to repurchase. I absolutely love this scent. Um, the next one that I have is from Homeworks. This is Peach Upside Down Cake. So the notes on this one are ripe peach, brown sugar, crumble, sweet orange, and baked crust. This one was delicious. It was so good. Um, I really enjoyed this scent, but again, I'm trying to not really buy candles very much. So would I repurchase this one? Maybe, especially if I can't find it in a vendor wax scent. But if I could find a really good vendor wax scent of kind of a peach upside down cake, then I would probably get that instead. So if any of you have heard of a peach upside down cake that you really like, I've been watching a few videos recently and a lot of people don't really seem to like peach. So um, this one had a really clean burn too. It burned all the way down. You can see these two really burned all the way down to the clips. I had a little bit of sitting right there, but I think that's more from my lighter than actually from the candle itself but it had really great performance. I didn't have any issues with the wicks burning. I didn't have to cotton ball, nothing. So it's always great when you have such good performance on candles, because I hate the candles that you have to baby. And a lot of the times I end up just cutting them up and using them as wax. So the majority of this week is from L3 Waxy Wonders, but I do have a few odds and ends that aren't. So the first that I have is the ring from Super Tarts, which is pumpkin cupcakes, toasted mar toasted marshmallow and pink sugar. Um, this one was really good. You really get that pumpkin cupcake scent um, and the pink sugar. I really enjoyed it. I like super tarts. It performs well in my house. Um, this one was from 920, so just over a year old. No issues, good scent. Um, this one has never been kissed, so blackberry jam, butter cookies, raspberry, coconut, birthday cake, and waffle cone. This is a delicious scent. I love blackberry scents. I love waffle cone. Um, and 
you do get that raspberry and the coconut. It's all, it's really good, good performer. I have more of this. Um, she recently had a pre-order with this in it. I didn't get any because I have a band bag and I have another clam. But next time around, if I've used to it, then I, I'll probably get it again. Okay, sample from Bathing Garden, Lemon Grass Sorbet. Funny story about this. I've been trying to change the wax every so often in my teenage daughter's room, but I forget. So I grabbed the sample and put it in there the other day. She hated it. This was a powerhouse with her door shut. You could still smell it in the hall. Um, I guess she doesn't like lemon or citrus scents. So, but this was delicious. It was really good, super strong. So if you get a chance to get it and like lemon scents, I would highly suggest it. Okay. Um, so L3, this was one of the chunks. Blackberry jam, strawberry jam, toasted mallow. So I've discovered something this week that I didn't realize. And I think this is the great thing about doing this, especially since her customs is coming up soon. I don't really like strawberry jam scents. Um, this performed really well. It still smelled good with everything combined, but I prefer strawberry pound cake or the fresh strawberry. I don't love this strawberry jam scents. But if you like strawberry jam, this is a great one. Performed very well, no issues. Um, fresh picked strawberries, cotton candy, and white elephant exchange. This one was really good. I, I don't know though that I like white elephant exchange. I almost feel like white elephant exchange, even though it's a good scent, that it kind of mellows out scents. And so I think I would rather have just fresh picked strawberries and cotton candy because then it's gonna be a little bit stronger. Um, not that I think White Elephant Exchange is bad. I just think that it doesn't add much to it and it just tends to kind of drown things out. Chore list, this one was a round shape. I don't even know what it's called. It almost looked like a bar of soap. This actually surprised me. I ended up chopping this up and mainly doing this in my laundry room and then in the bathroom a little bit and I, I enjoyed it. Is it one that I could have throughout my whole house? No, but I didn't mind it in my bath, in my laundry room. And I was very strong too. Um, Kide Melts Cupboard Under the Stairs. So this is a really good one. So Kide Melts is like a butter mint cupcakes at Tiffany's type of scent and then Cupboard Under the Stairs is a strawberry cupcake or something. It's a little bit different than strawberry pound cake. Um, this was pretty good. She has, I really like Kide Melts. I have that on its own. And it's just, it's a really good scent. I don't know that I would get this again with the cupboard under the stairs mixed with it. Probably more likely to get them separate. This is a puppy pack. I don't love the puppy packs, but they're okay. Um, Snooze Button Boardwalk Molo Clouds. This was one of the chunks. This one was really good. It lasted a long time. I put it in at night and I don't tend to turn my warmers off in my downstairs area. The only place they get turned off is in my bedroom just because my husband doesn't like the lights. Um, but this one I could still smell in the morning when I woke up. So this was really good. I've, I've said before that I like mint scents, especially at night. Um, blackberry jam, butter cookies, pumpkin, pecan, waffle. This was like a leaf shape. This is really good. I love her blackberry jam butter cookies. I love her pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, they're just both really great scents. I really enjoy them. I'm pretty sure I have other versions of those with other things too. Booberry salt water taffy graham crackers buttercream frosting angel food cake. This one was pretty good. Booberry is more like, like a cereal type scent but not like Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops. I think it's more like um, the Captain Crunch Berries. So this was okay. Would I get it again? No. I mean, it performed decent. It didn't have any kind of like a weird smell or anything, but I, I wouldn't get it again. Christmas Cookie Therapy. This one was a major surprise. So I have been avoiding all eggnog scents 
because I don't really like to drink eggnog. So this one is eggnog cookie therapy and a hint of gingerbread. Oh my gosh, this was so good. And the scent just was like a 10 out of 10, almost a 12 out of 10. It just filled up the entire upstairs is where I had it and lasted in an extremely long time. And I did request it. She didn't pour it this time, which is probably good because I decided not to order. But when I do my own customs, I really am thinking I'm going to get this scent. It was delicious. I just, I was, I loved it. I didn't expect to. And like I said, it just was such a good, strong scent. If you like eggnog scents or gingerbread scents, I highly suggest this one. Um, Carpathian Mountains. I put this in my kids' bathroom. I didn't go in and smell it right away. And then when I went back to smell, I really didn't smell much. Um, but this also was the same day that I put that bathing garden lemon scent in my daughter's bedroom, which is they're right next to each other. So I kind of think that the bathing garden scent just overtook this one. Peach Cobbler Sugar Cookie. This is one of the bougie bars. Um, this lasted overnight in my upstairs area. This was really good. I wouldn't say it's a super, super strong scent. I don't think that peach scents generally, oh, I mean, maybe they are. I have some that are stronger, but this was a really good scent. I really enjoyed it. Um, it lasted overnight, so the next morning I still smell it. I kind of have a theory about that, but I'm not sure if I'm, I'm right or if it's just a certain scent. But upstairs, I have a Scentsy Warmer on one side of the room. And on the other side of the room, I have a Candles Warmer Hot Plate. And I feel like because a Candle Warmer Hot Plate gets hotter faster, the scent kind of burns off a little bit faster and you get a stronger scent. But then since I'm combining it with the Scentsy Warmer that doesn't get as hot, then I think the scent kind of is lasting a little bit longer up here. I have no idea if that's right. I've just noticed that it seems like sometimes upstairs my scents seem to last a little bit longer. And that's my theory. Who knows? Um, Peeps Rice Crispy Treats Cookie Therapy. This one was good. I don't think I'd get it again. Um, it was a decent throw. It just, not that it was a boring scent, but it just didn't stand out to me. It wasn't like a, like I have to have it scent. And I think that the Peeps and the Rice Crispy Treats kind of, Mellowed out the cookie therapy a little bit, so it wasn't quite as strong on that. It was okay. I enjoyed it, but I don't think I'd do it again. Um, this one's from Super Tarts. This is herbal lavender. Just, um, what does she call these? They're blenders, but she used to call them something else. I just had this from 2018. I needed to use it up, so I used it up upstairs. Super, super strong. If you want a strong lavender scent, this one's very strong. Um, I know she's doing her blenders now in clamshells, and so I'm not sure how often she has those available, but this was, it was really good. I do prefer lavender mixed with things, but it was so really good. Okay, let's see. Um, these two are the same. So they're pumpkin, pecan, waffles, sugar, cookie, royal, and Hufflepuff. They're the little bunts, so I had two of the bunts. This was really good. I'm really enjoying the Hufflepuff sampler. I really like those scents and I love anything combined with pumpkin pecan waffles. It's just delicious. Pumpkin pecan waffles is a great scent. This one surprised me, Nimbus 2000. So it says, not just a broomstick, it's a Nimbus 2000. Driftwood, birch, branches, and sage. Um, I loved this. It was extremely long lasting. Again, I had this upstairs. I put it in and left it all day and night and it still had scent the next day. And it wasn't like an overpowering scent, which is what I was worried about. It was just, it was delicious. I loved it. I have these two going together right now. So zucchini bread, white elephant exchange, which is one of the buns. And then blackberry bling, which is one of the trick tarts. Um, again, I think I... I think I prefer the zucchini on its own rather than mixed with White Elephant Exchange. She has a really good zucchini bread, no spice at all to it, unlike there's other vendors where theirs are a little more spicy. But I just think I'd prefer it without the White Elephant Exchange. The Blackberry Bling, I've mixed it with other things before and it's a pretty good scent, I enjoy it. I do wish that I had um, single of the Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies because I think I might like that one better. 
But this one's good. I've mixed it with a few things and I've enjoyed it. Okay, Lemon Sweet Cream Pie White Elephant Exchange. This one is good. I just barely started warming it downstairs in my bedroom, so I'm not sure how long it's going to last. My husband really likes lemon scent, so I went ahead and put that in there. Again, I think that there's other lemon type scents that I prefer over this one, um, possibly without the White Elephant Exchange. And I know some people really love the White Elephant Exchange, and it's okay, but it's just not one of my favorites. Okay. I have this one going downstairs right now. Pumpkin pecan waffles, blackberry jam butter cookies, and zucchini bread. This is two different of the bougie bars. This is delicious, a great scent. I'll probably end up requesting this for customs so I have more on hand. Super strong. It can kind of keeps wafing upstairs from downstairs. So I really enjoyed that. And it seems like I got really good throw with the bougie bars, but they're also newer. So I haven't been consistently buying L3. Like I've said in another video, I recently just started buying a lot of wax again this year. Do you find that L3 scents last over time or do they lose scent? That's my question. Does anyone have an answer to that? Covered under the stairs, White Elephant Exchange. I love covered under the stairs but I'd probably prefer it on its own rather than mixed. Um, two more bougie bars. This is Strawberry Pound Cake Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I had these going downstairs and they were delicious. So good. This is possibly one that I would request. I love Strawberry Pound Cake. I love Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I know some people love Cupcakes at Tiffany's and some people hate it, so I don't know. Accio the Bureau French Vanilla Lace Fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. Um, this wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to have been. When I melted just the, bur the burrow on its own before, it was a lot stronger. I got a lot better throw. So I'm just not sure about this one. It was good. Um, it was a puppy pack, so I don't know if that made it not throw as well. I, I think what it is, is that the vanilla lace kind of mellows out the scent of the burrow. And I wanted more of the burrow, less of the vanilla lace, just because of what time of year it is. I mean, I don't mind vanilla lace, but. Um, this is another big surprise. I have another one of these in here somewhere, but Freak Show. So Circus Concessions and Cotton Candy Craze, which Cotton Candy Craze is Cotton Candy, Candy Frosting, and Blue Raspberry Frosting. This was delicious and it lasted and lasted and lasted. It really seems like my bougie bars that I had just really lasted a long time. I loved this one. I definitely plan on getting this one with customs as well. I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. Um, L3 Waxy Wonders Ravenclaw. I don't know the scent notes of this one. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I ended up melting this mostly in my laundry room and in the downstairs bathroom. It was really good. Again, I don't know. I don't think this is a type of scent that I could have throughout my entire house, but I really enjoyed it in the rooms I had it in. Um, I did melt a Rose Girls on Blackberry Shaving Cream and Pink Sugar. This is from 319. I melted this because Vintage Cheek Scents is getting ready to do a shaving cream restock. She posted that a few of her blends are gonna be shaving cream. And I wanted to see what I thought about shaving cream. Um, this one like pretty much had no scent. I mean, I get a tiny, tiny bit, but recently I've been watching Danny, and she made the comment that bakery type scents don't last long. And this one's not really big reason, but it seems like a lot of the ones she really likes are fresh scents that last longer. And then Carson also made that same comment that he's heard that Rose Girl's bakery scents just kind of fizzle out after a while. So I don't know if that's what my issue is. I have so much Rose Girl's and I just feel like I'm not getting, I'm not getting a good throw anymore. I do think that she's probably going to be the next um, operation use it up vendor just because I have a full cubby and then two small containers that like fit in a full cubby, just full of her wax. And I feel like I need to really try and use it up and see what still smells, what doesn't smell. And I don't know, I'm really sad because I know so many people love her 
and I used to love her, but I just feel like I'm not getting any throw anymore. And I don't know if it's because it's older, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So this one was a surprise and not in a good way. So this is blueberry muffin in a trig tart and then Santa's on keto. So this was a two pack of the fluted tarts and this was a trig tart. So I cut these up and I blended them together in my bedroom and bathroom thinking that it was going to be a really good bakery blueberry smell. It is not very often where I smell a wax scent and I have to take out right away. Like this blueberry, I don't think it was a Santa's on keto, but this blueberry, like it actually made me sick. And I don't know what it was because I've mixed it with other things before, but something about this with this one combined with the warmer, especially it's in my bathroom because it's a super, super hot warmer. It just, it, it wasn't good at all. Uh, makes me really hesitant to buy blueberry scents anymore. Uh, this is the other Freak Show bougie bar. I told you I had two. Chasing Fireflies. This technically wasn't in our thing, but this is a lavender scent I've been working on. So Pink Sugar Lavender Mallow Fluff. This was a loaf. Really good scent. I really enjoyed it. The only thing that would make it better is a mint of some kind, in my opinion. But it was really good. I might get it again once I work through all of the lavender scents that I have. But I do really prefer lavender and mint together. So I don't know. We will see. Is butter a carb? Buttered popcorn today is October 3rd. Mallow fluff. This one was really good. Um, I mixed it. I mixed it with the caramel apple trick tart just because I didn't have enough for the entire downstairs and I wanted to fill up the downstairs. Um, I think I would have liked this better had I had more of it so then it would have been more of this scent, more stronger. The caramel apple was fine. I just didn't get a ton of throw from it. So it was okay, but it wasn't as strong as some of the other scents. So Fetch, I love this scent. This one is, I believe it's today's October 3rd and it's either fresh picked strawberries or strawberry pound cake. I think it's strawberry pound cake. I'm not sure, but this is a really good scent. I get a really good throw on this. Great performance, great scent. I might order this with my customs just so I have some extra on hand. Um, I did two puppy packs and eight crazy nights. I love this scent. I also have a loaf in this scent. I still have one more puppy pack in this scent. This is a really good scent. Um, I get about a medium throw. I wish the throw was just a hair stronger because I just really want to be blown out of the house with this scent because I love it so much. But um, this scent is blackberry jelly, fried dough, and a hint of campfire smoke. So really good. Really enjoyed it. Just wish it was just a tad bit stronger. Um, cake batter, waffle cone, pistachio ice cream. And then I also mixed it with pound cake, marchino cherries, pistachio ice cream. These are both puppy packs. Um, between the two of these, I put them all over downstairs. They were both really good. I enjoyed it. I'm starting to buy more pistachio scents and I'm hesitantly dipping my toe into cherry scents. I'm always afraid of that medicine smell, but so far I've been enjoying what I've been melting. Um, coconut cream pie cookies from Sassy Girl Aroma. So this one is sweet, creamy coconut cream pie and sugar cookies. This was delicious. This is one of her breakaway bars. So when I use a breakaway bar, I use one throughout my entire downstairs in all my warmers and I just perform super well, lasts a long time. Her stuff always goes really well for me. I've never had any issues even with older of her wax that I've had. Just delicious. Summer Cookie Therapy, this is another really good one. So this one is Cookie Therapy with fresh picked strawberries, I believe. Very good scent, very strong throw. I really enjoy this. I'll probably get it again. Another Snooze Button Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. Again, like I said earlier, great scent. I love mints, especially at bedtime. Um, L3, this was just a plain zucchini bread. This was really good. I really enjoy her zucchini bread. It's not spicy at all. It, it's just a good zucchini bread. I do think in general, I prefer to have zucchini bread mixed with other things, but 
but it was it was good i enjoyed it this one is actually a chopped up candle from bath and body works in caramel apple this is from 2018 finally used it up if you've seen chopped up candles before it's a ton of wax and so this one i've just been mixing off and on with other scents especially other carnival type scents with popcorn scents in it i'll just add a little bit of this in with it too i don't think i enjoy it by itself as much not that there's anything wrong with it but it's just kind of plain by itself but i enjoyed mixing it with other things Hello Frosty, which is Vanilla Bean Noel Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Peppermint. Um, this one was really good. Again, I love cupcakes at Tiffany's. I love peppermint. So it just was a really good minty bakery scent. Um, a green apple trick sponge sugar funnel cake. This one was okay. Probably wouldn't get it again. Pretty decent throw. Maybe if it was a different time of the year, I would have enjoyed it better, but with fall type scents, it, it was just okay. Aunt Jam's filled jelly rolls, which is strawberry jam, whipped cream, cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. Again, this was kind of where I started to discover that I don't think I love the strawberry jam. It was really good, but I prefer the strawberry pound cake and the fresh picked strawberries. I don't love the cooking strawberry jam scent, but it was, it was, through really well, very strong. I know a lot of people love it. Strawberry pound cake, I really enjoy strawberry pound cake. Great scent, no issues. A moment on the lips strawberry pound cake. This one was really good. I think a moment on the lips, I don't remember what it is. I think it leans a little bit more perfumey, but not quite, but I still really enjoyed this. Um, I had really good throw. Lemon Poppy Seed Muffin White Elephant Exchange. Um, this one was okay, but again, as I'm finding with all of the different White Elephant Exchange ones, I want more of the other scent that's in it. So I really enjoyed the Lemon Poppy Seed scent, but I wish that it was stronger. And I feel like the White Elephant Exchange, for my nose, just kind of mellows everything out and takes away the wham bam in your face scent that I'm looking for. Um, velvet sugar, let them eat cake, white velvet bow. This is okay. It was like a light to medium throw. I probably wouldn't get it again. Nothing really stood out to me with this. Um, yeah, I mean, it was good. It was fine. It just wasn't great. Okay. Um, blizzard breezes, peppermint, spearmint, cream de menthol, and toasted mallow. This one was really good. I enjoyed this. Um, she has really great mint scents. I don't know that I can decide yet which one's my favorite because I've been melting all these different chunks in the scents and I enjoy most of them. So I don't know. This one was a really good one. I really like Kide Melts. I really like the Frosted, I don't know, whatever that one was. That was really good as well. Um, Lunar Eclipse Palo Santo Herbal Lavender. I, this was strong, but I didn't really like it that much. I think that I don't prefer her Herbal Lavender, which is funny because when I first started with wax, I really preferred Herbal Lavender, but I just don't think I prefer it as much anymore. I do think that I want to try more lavender mint blends with the Palo Santo in it to see what I think, but it was okay. It was strong. It performed really well, lasted a decent amount of time. And then the last thing that I have, yeah, the last thing is Coconut Coast. This was a sample from Sassy Girl Aroma. Super, super strong. It reminds me of a Bath and Body Works candle. It doesn't have the scent notes on there, so I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe coconut leaves, because it's not like a sun tanny coconut and it's not like a bakery coconut. It's kind of in between. This was really good, although I didn't like it, but I think I didn't like it because of the time of year. So I've been melting more at the fall, the fall bakery, and this just really didn't satisfy that fall bakery need. It was something that I think I would really enjoy in the summertime though. So I definitely think that I would get this again in the summer, just not this time of year. So that was everything that I finished. 
Um, I feel like I made pretty good progress on it. It was kind of hard because there was definitely other false scents that I wanted to pull out, but I really do feel like sometimes it's important to use up some of the specific things of what we have. And I do think that I'll go through this bin again in summertime because I did notice I had a ton of more summertime type scents that I would enjoy. I'm also discovering that I don't, I don't love the smaller, the smaller amounts. So I felt like with some of the scents, especially because I was trying to spread them throughout my downstairs, that I had to cut them up really small. And so then I felt like sometimes I didn't get as strong of a throw, even though I have so many warmers, just because I was trying to spread it out. And so I think I really do prefer more of the bigger sizes. So I enjoyed the bougie bars, especially when I had two of those. Um, I like her loaves. I love her scoops. I feel like her scoops perform extremely, extremely well. Um, and I think that like her basic, not, not her basic, her bitty betty loaves are a really good size too. Cause those are more the size of like a souffle. I just don't think I enjoy these smaller sizes because of the way that I prefer to melt my wax. And I prefer not to have so many scents throughout the house. And I've really been having to do that all week as I try and use different scents, which have been fine, but I feel like because I'm trying to spread it out so much, I'm not getting as strong of a throw as I would if I had the scoop or a loaf or a bitty buddy or things like that. So I hope that you join me with our next one. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do Rose Girls because I really need to use some of it up. I've spent so much money on her wax and it used to perform extremely well for me. We'll see if maybe Danny and Carson are right that maybe the throw is more affected by time at the bakery. Um, I don't know how much fall scents I have with her. So whatever fall bakery scents I have, I'll pull out. Whatever I don't feel is really gonna work for this time of year, I'll probably supplement just with other things that I don't necessarily need to use up. So thank you for joining me. If you like this, please like and comment and subscribe. That way I know that you're enjoying this. I really enjoy videos like this. I, I really enjoy hauls, seeing what people got, but I even more so enjoy seeing what they melted, seeing what they thought, seeing how it performed, and really seeing if that's where I wanna spend my money also. So again, thank you for joining me today and I hope that you're having a great weekend. I'm planning on posting this on Saturday, so tomorrow's Halloween, so happy Halloween. And I hope that all of you are safe and that you have a fun time and I'll see you next time.